We'll have a look at Weebly first because I think it's one of the easiest out of the three. So just go to um, the Weebly website, www.weebly.com, and you'll be taken to this um, create a free account. So you just type in whatever you want to be your username. I'm just going to put uh, GP1 and whatever you want for your password. And then type in your email address, so jparker at nerdlock.edu and the catch bar. Uh, so that they can make sure you're a real person. And then click on the sign up. Then you'll be taken to a page where you can enter the title for your website. Um, so whatever you want to might call it, I'm just going to call it EDN113 Project and on the next page um, you get to enter a title for your website so pick something nice and simple, I'm just going to put EDN113 Project in there and select the type of site, education and I'm going to select class project category and continue. Um, just select the subdomain and you can again just put um, something simple in. EDM113 is available but obviously if I've used it you won't be able to but you could put your name on the end of it. I'll just put Jenny there. Okay and we don't want to register a domain name. We just want the free one and we'll continue. Okay, so your site's created and uh, Weebly automatically gives you some tips. Great, now drag one of these elements to your page. Okay, so here's the elements across the top with a little tab saying elements. So you can drag the title down and you can type in the title of your page. So you might just type there about me. Right, and you could just then drag some text down and type in um, I love blah, 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 blah. Okay, if you want to put a picture in or a picture with the text, you can drag the picture one down element. So it's literally just drag and drop what you want to do, and Weebly will give you the hints and tips about what to do. Click here to edit your image, um, click here to edit the information, etc. Okay, so all different elements across the top um, on the basic elements and then you've got multimedia elements so you can add things like a photo gallery or a YouTube video the revenue um, elements you won't need to use and um, more elements so you can have a look at all of those and decide um, what type of thing you want on your page then you can go to design and you can select the design for your web page so this first one is just the default um, you might want something brighter and it depends um, which design you choose as to whether your navigation is across the top or down the side. Um, the first one will all appear to be sort of across the top and if you scroll through a little bit further um, you will find some that have their um, navigation on the side of them. So if you scroll further along you'll find some that have the navigation on the side. Okay, once you've chosen your design you could go to pages and here you can create new pages or a new blog. You can see the tips coming up again so it's giving you the information about how to do that. And the last one we'll look at is settings. In the settings you can um, change your site title and you can decide whether you show it or not on the top of all your pages. The site password, um, that's only available if you've got a Weebly Pro, the paid version, so it's not available for you to protect your site otherwise. So if you want to use Weebly and you don't want the world to see it, just don't publish it. Okay, you could create it, save it, and then when you submit it to us for marking, you would need to give us your username and password. And after it's marked, you could change your password to whatever you like, or you could decide to publish it in the future. So I haven't clicked publish on this one, and I'm just going to go close, 